Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a day in my life slash mostly food video hybrid. I get so many requests to share more and more about the food that I'm eating and I do mix up my meals a lot. I also kind of eat a lot of the same thing as you guys know, but I try to be pretty intentional with my food, not only for my own health, but also hopefully for my baby's health as well as fighting the good fight in, if that's the way you want to word it, in terms of trying to keep my breast milk supply plentiful. Give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new I'd love to have you and check out all of my social media links down below so with all of that being said let's hop right in hi guys so I'm jumping in this video right now to say hello hey what's up I'm in my living room my hair and makeup is done today so this is a very exciting time you might hear the chickens in the background so just consider it like part of the homestead vibe. They're like throwing a party out there today. So as I mentioned, today's video is kind of like the routine of the types of foods that I have been trying to eat postpartum, not only for my own health, for breast milk support, for hopefully my baby's health. Um, and I wanted to let you know that today's video is actually sponsored by da -da -da, Ritual Vitamins. Now you guys know I'm a big believer in supplementation. I personally think that even if you eat a healthy diet. I think that the modern lifestyle, the way that modern food is grown, all of that jazz, a lot of us, if not all of us, tend to have gaps in our nutrition. Now, Ritual is a vitamin that I've been taking lately in my routine. I've mentioned this so many times before, but for me, a really important thing about vitamins is transparency in where they source their ingredients from, and Ritual does just that. So I've been taking Ritual for the last couple of months, and I think what I love about it is knowing that it's such a great, well-rounded multivitamin. I like knowing that I have a great base, a good multivitamin. So if you're someone that wants a simple routine that is still caring for your body and setting yourself up for success, I think that having a really great multivitamin is super important. Ritual contains nine different nutrients from D3 to omega-3 to, like I mentioned, help fill in your nutritional gaps. And the other cool thing, this is actually one of the main things they're really known for, is their capsule is made to be like an anti-nausea capsule. It's created in a way that it has like a slower release. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I still haven't tested that because I'm so paranoid about taking my vitamins with food, but I've heard so many other people say that this is gentle enough for them to take on an empty stomach. Um, also, it's vegan, it's sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free. Also, they have a delivery straight to your door subscription service. Maybe that's obvious, but just in case it's not, you can get your vitamins straight delivered to your door, and the cost breakdown ends up being about a dollar a day. Better health uh, does not just happen overnight. It takes time and the buildup of good decisions, good routines, good habits. And I, you guys know, I just truly think that vitamins um, are a part of those good routines that we can implement. And, you know, I don't want to say should implement, but if you're striving for better health, I think that supplements are really important part of that journey. So I have great news that you maybe saw coming, maybe didn't. I actually have a discount code for Ritual. So if you are interested in giving Ritual a try, I will have my link down below that I believe is just ritual.com slash Nikki P. And when you use the code Nikki P, you will receive 10% off of your first three months of your Ritual supplements. So I will have that link down below. Thank you Ritual for sponsoring this video. And with all of that being said, I'm going to show you some of the yummy food that I've been so happy to be making and eating lately. Okay, so just kidding. We're actually going to start this video upstairs with Logan hanging out post diaper change. By the way, if you missed my last video, I finally made a video all about cloth diapering and my experience so far. So check that out if you want to. 
So on this day, I decided to take my ritual vitamins with my breakfast. So I pulled those out. I thought I'd show you a close up of their capsule because it's just like really pretty. <laughs> now per the usual, my breakfast was very random. I pulled out some of these spicy Grillo's pickles. I'm obsessed with Grillo's pickles. If you've never had them, you're seriously missing out. And then I also pulled out some pistachios that I picked up at Aldi. I love pistachios. And then the main course, which I actually forgot to get footage of, which is I realize very weird because this is mostly a food video, but it was basically just avocado toast on some Trader Joe's sourdough bread. It had, of course, avocado on it, a couple of slices of some yellow heirloom tomato that I had picked up at the grocery store, goat cheese, olive oil, everything but the bagel seasoning, red chili pepper flakes, and salt and pepper. And then I also had a ripe, yummy Bartlett pear that Dan had picked me up from Costco. So I ate my breakfast, took my vitamins, and then we're gonna take a quick detour to Logan's tummy time. <laughs> it's amazing to see the development of babies because homie couldn't even hold his head up like not that long ago. And <laughs> now he's propping himself up. It's very exciting. Also, you know Zoe had to get in on that tummy time kissy action. Their little relationship is growing as Logan's awareness grows and he starts to really realize like, oh, that's an animal and that animal's engaging with me. And it's really cute to see just his brain become more and more aware of things in life in general. If you watch my videos, you know that my neck had been thrown out for like two weeks and I couldn't do a whole lot with him during this period of time, but I could lie on the floor with him. So you can bet your bottom dollar that that is what I did. I laid down and I just hung out with him and talked to him and soaked in his cuteness and looked into each other's eyes. Are you a crazy baby? Who is that crazy baby? By the way, thank you to everyone who sent me a message on Instagram for my first Mother's Day. It was absolutely beautiful just reflecting back on the birth with Dan, eating lots of good food. Dan let me sleep in super late. Also, his little head of hair is getting thicker and thicker, but it's so cute, it looks like penguin hair. His head is just sprouting cute little baby hair. <laughs> Okay, so I hope this isn't annoying, but I wanted to make a batch of these oat cookies from Kristen Cavallari's cookbook, True Roots. I say I hope it's not annoying because I made these recently in a video. I eat these not only because they're delicious, but oats are known to be helpful for your milk supply. So the base for this cookie is oat flour. Um, and the way that you make oat flour, I explained this in another video, is you literally just grind up oats, which is amazing. Side note, I highly recommend you get organic oats when you can. Um, um, just because oats have been shown to test very high for the pesticides that are sprayed on them, so they absorb them a lot. So I used some organic oats on this day, ground that up, pulled out my parchment paper. I like this brown parchment paper because it's not bleached, and I don't know, I thought it looked super like homesteady, <laughs> rustic. That's embarrassing to admit that, but it's true. So I poured in the oat flour, then I put in a teaspoon of baking soda, I believe about a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I added in maybe two teaspoons of our homemade vanilla extract, as well as a whole block of this Kerrygold butter. Then I added in about a cup and a half of coconut sugar. I love coconut sugar because it's got a very warm taste to it. Like it kind of reminds me, not that I've eaten a lot of brown sugar, honestly, but my memory of brown sugar is that this is very similar to that. So once everything was all mixed up, by the way, I do know I have the wrong attachment for my mixer. I just have not gotten around to getting, I think it's the paddle that I need. I just haven't gotten there, folks. Um, but I cracked in two eggs. This is the point where I added in my vanilla extract. And then I poured in my oat flour. So in the beginning, I just mixed up the butter and the sugar. And once that was mixed, that's when I did the rest of all of these steps. 
Then I added in about a cup ish of Lily's stevia sweetened dark chocolate chips. Then I scooped on little balls onto my baking tray to bake, threw those in the oven. And then while those were baking, I literally started on my next treat. <laughs> so I got these Julie's dates in the mail. You guys know I'm obsessed with Julie's dates. And then I pulled out all of these nut butters that I had and I decided to make more nut butter stuffed dates. I also add to my mix about a cup of hemp hearts just because I'm always trying to find reason to add hemp hearts to everything. Um, this is a weird like thing to say, but I'm convinced that these also truly help my milk supply. Like when I had stopped eating dates for me like a week or two, I not only missed them in my life guys, but also my milk supply went down and I couldn't figure out why. And my mom reminded me, she's like, hey, you've been eating dates for months. Like maybe you should try that again. I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. I've stopped with the dates. So I made more dates on this day and I have to say, I have noticed again that my milk supply has gone back up. So I don't know what that is. Maybe it's the nuts because nuts are supposed to support breast milk production, but I also feel like it is the dates. All right, so I had a bunch of parsley growing in my tower garden that needed to be harvested and used or frozen or something like that. And I really think that getting in fresh herbs into your diet is so beneficial to supporting your health in general. So I decided to make some chimichurri. I started off by grinding up some red onion. I processed it in my little processor, some garlic, and I pulsed that so it all could get finely chopped. Next up, I added in my parsley and cilantro. And at this point, Logan had waken up from a nap and so Dan brought him in. Let me just, you know, admire my son's cuteness. <laughs> my neck was still, like I mentioned, funky at this point, and I just have to give a shout out to Dan for being super dad, literally, I mean, all the time, but these last two weeks, taking care of me and taking care of Logan. And Dan, I don't even know if you'll watch this video, but I love and appreciate you so, so much. So then I threw in about half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, about half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes, and then I think I added about a cup of organic extra virgin olive oil. By the way, good fats I don't think are highlighted enough for women for breast milk support. I truly think it's aiming for a well-rounded diet. Like that's really, I think, the aim. Um, but I also think good fat is very important in supporting your body and your health and your baby's body and health. If you've never had chimichurri before, I can't recommend it enough. I know there are different names for this sauce in different cultures. You guys made me aware of that last time I made this a few months ago. Um, by the way, I'm adding red wine vinegar to the mix right now. Um, but I know it is chimichurri and I love it. I love it on fish. It's delicious on salmon, on chicken. It's great with veggies, on potatoes. It's delicious in a sandwich. And I actually made a salad with chimichurri the other night. Now on this day, I decided to make a BLT with my chimichurri. So Dan cooked me up some bacon. I picked some lettuce from my indoor tower garden. I pulled this organic seed-tastic bread from Aldi out of my freezer. And then I cut up some more of this yellow heirloom tomato that I had picked up at the store. I also decided I wanted goat cheese on my sandwich. So once I toasted up that bread, then I spread some goat cheese on the bottom and then I added my bacon to the toast. Next up, I chopped up some jalapenos. Then I put my lettuce on the sandwich as well as my yellow tomatoes. Then we all know my obsession with pepper on tomatoes. So I put a bunch of pepper on the tomatoes as well as some chunky salt. Then I spread a ton of chimichurri on the other side of the bread. And it's funny because even though, as you can see, I'm putting a ton on here, I probably could have put more. It was so delicious and complimented just the whole, I don't know, vibe of the sandwich so well.
then, because we also know about my other obsession of oranges, I cut open some Cara Cara oranges that I like to buy at Aldi. Aldi has bomb Cara Cara oranges. So does Costco, just letting you know. Then I decided for lunch, I wanted a handful of these dry roasted macadamia nuts. And then I had to pause and show you more cute Logan moments. I just, I can't. Um, so then that was my lunch. I did have another Grillo's pickle, by the way, because when I have them in the house, I almost can't help but have them for like every single meal. By the way, we've been doing this with Logan since birth because I'm just so obsessed with oranges, but we stick the orange in his face and squeeze it for him to smell. And if he wants to give a little lick, he gives a tiny little lick of the juice. And it's so cute to always see his reactions. He always looks like confused and happy and surprised. It's like a very weird mix of emotions and it's really sweet. Logan sat on my lap while I ate lunch and it was really sweet and fun, especially because like I mentioned for two weeks, the type of interaction I could have with him was more limited. So it was nice to just be able to sit and eat lunch with my baby. Now, when I was done with lunch, I brewed some fresh passion fruit iced tea. Then the cookies were done and I had actually put them in the freezer. I love to eat them out of the freezer. They're so good. And so I pulled out a cookie and had that as well. Now, apparently this whole video is literally just like food, and my baby, <laughs> food and my baby. But I think it's appropriate because, you know, a chunk of the motivation for the food that I eat comes from my baby. I mean, I feel like I'm obnoxiously hitting that point home. Side note, we get a lot of questions about what breed Bowser is. He is the same breed as the Target dog. He's called an English Bull Terrier. We're obsessed with him. Clearly though, they shed. <laughs> it's really gross that Dan wanted me to show that on camera. Um, but there you go. Now, another thing we've been trying to do every single day for a long time now, like since probably since I got pregnant, is taking a walk outside. And now this time of year going from spring to summer here in Nashville has just been so beautiful and walks have a whole new, I don't know, vibe to them now that we have a baby to bring on the walk. He could be in a horrible mood, and right when we leave the house, every single time, once we're out in nature, Logan calms down and just seems so happy. Now, side note, I wore my Vessies on this walk, and I brought another glass of fresh iced tea, and we just kind of took a stroll around the neighborhood and soaked up the beautiful weather and kind of just lulled Logan to sleep. Logan often falls asleep on these walks and it's really sweet because it's pretty quiet in our neighborhoods. And so you just hear like the wind rustling through the trees and the birds chirping. And it's just super sweet to be experiencing that and then look down and see a sleeping baby. So once my dates had frozen a little bit, you know I had to have one and it was delicious. Now for dinner that night, I decided to pull a frozen batch of my chicken soup. We did so much freezer cooking over the last few months and we're still eating from our stash regularly. Um, and chicken soup is something we kind of accidentally went way overboard with. So it's kind of awesome. I'll probably be eating from it like honestly all year. So the way that I do it though, is I pour in my frozen chicken soup and then I actually continue to doctor it up again. So I added more diced purple onion and then I also chopped up some white mushrooms I had. And then also I chopped up the last few baby carrots that I had. I also decided to cut up some more celery to add to the soup. And then once that was all in there, I added some more organic chicken broth. Then I added a splash of olive oil, a little bit of white wine, because I find any reason to add white wine to my cooking, 
For some reason, I decided to add some coriander. And then I also put in a bay leaf for all of this to just simmer in. And then there's Dan again, being dad of the year. <laughs> so I added in some salt and pepper to the mix, by the way. And then of course, some red chili pepper flakes. I feel like, honestly, like I said, this whole video is like my food and my baby, but it's also like my food and an ode to Dan being such an awesome dad. Seriously, it was a rough two weeks. I kind of briefly mentioned that on Instagram. I have, as you guys know, struggled with chronic pain for most of my life. And being a mom dealing with it has kind of been a different ball game. So on a side note, I'm actually thinking I want to make a video about, and maybe I've mentioned this before because I've been thinking about it for a while, making a video about chronic pain and being a mom. I guess let me know if you want to see that video, if you're excited to see that video. That's kind of weird wording, but yeah. By the way, I was too lazy to make rice and I didn't want to do noodles. So we had this pre-made white sticky rice from Costco that I just dumped into the pot and let simmer with everything as well. I also went upstairs and picked more lettuce from my tower garden because I wanted a big green salad on the side. And so I chopped that up. And then because apparently I can't ever eat enough oranges, I cut up some more Kara Kara oranges. Then I pulled out my homemade apple cider vinegar salad dressing and I tossed the salad in that dressing. Oh, and I was so like excited about my chimichurri sauce, I decided to add some of that to the salad as well. Then I put some crunchy salt on top, chunky, crunchy, whatever we wanna call it. And then that was my meal. Oh, and I added some lemon juice on the top of my little mug of soup. Even though I always doctor up my frozen soup, she might be like, well, what was the point of making it and freezing it? It's still so much easier because the base is done. Like adding these little veggies takes like no work at all. And it just kind of re, I don't know, refreshes the soup, makes it taste extra fresh, extra yummy. And all of the hard work has already been done. So yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this video. Like I said, please give it a thumbs up if you did like it. I actually have another food video coming up probably this week. Also, if you're still hearing my voice, check out the info box. Per the usual, I am doing a giveaway within this video as a way to say thank you to you guys for all of your support. So all of the information is going to be down there. And with all of that being said, I will hopefully see you back here very soon soon with another new video. All right, bye guys.